This is another one I had to do over the phone and record it to my computer. So the audio really is not that great. But for you younger folks, this is what transistor radios used to sound like in the 60s. We'll go ahead and pull out your information. Uh, and I will tell you more about this case. By what reason uh, are you receiving calls, sir? Can you help me with that? There wasn't any case number. She just said to press 1 to speak with legal department. That's what I did. I don't know. All right, so my name is Officer Robert Wilson. I am the investigation officer here with the batch ID number SSA number 9, number 7, number 1. So very good morning to you, sir. How are you doing today? I'm doing okay. All right, so at this point of time, sir, you don't have any case ID number with you, and we are not the authorized person to give you any information without verification, because all the information about this case, it's very confidential. So for security purpose that I am speaking to the right and correct person, you need to verify me just the last four digits of your social, only last four digits. So I will go ahead and pull out your information, and I will tell you more about this case, and what reason you receiving call. So can you help me with that? One, four, six, three. One, four, six, three, and Mano, whom I'm speaking with, sir. Pardon me? Yeah, Mano, whom, whom I'm speaking with. What's your first name? Yes, John. John, it's your first name, and I believe your last name. Right. All right, so I got your case file here. Here I see. This call is to inform you regarding some legal enforcement actions against your name and your social security number. So regarding this, we have got an order to suspend your social on immediate basis because your social has been found suspicious in the state of Texas. So are you aware about this situation? Well, no. Well, how would I? No, I don't know what you're talking about. All right. Did you receive any phone calls from your local police department regarding this case? No. Why would they call me? I don't know. All right. So now you grab a pen and piece of paper. So I will provide you some primary information about this case, which you can write it down. Once you're ready with the pen and piece of paper, just let me know, sir. I am holding the line here. Okay, go ahead. All right, so first of all, you write down a case ID number, a case ID number. Yeah. It's D, like in Delta. Yeah. C, like in Charlie. Yeah. Then write down the number, number seven, number eight, number six, number nine, number two. Okay. Then you write down a warrant ID number, a warrant ID number. It's again D like in Delta, C like in Charlie. Then write down the number, number seven, number zero, number six, number four, number four, number eight. Okay. Then you write down my name. My first name is Robert with the middle initial M like in Mary. Okay, Robert. Then you write down my last name. It's Wilson. It's W-I-L-S-O-N. All right. Then you write down my badge ID number. My badge ID number. It's S like in Sam. Then again, S like in Sam. Yeah. Then A like an apple, number nine, number seven, number one. Nine, seven, one? Yes, you are right. Okay. So, have you ever been to the state of Texas before? Texas, yes. I used to work down there. All right, so let, all right. let me go ahead and explain you the situation about this case. But before that, I want to inform you that these lines have been recorded by the Social Security Administration and Law Enforcement Agency. So make sure whatever you say or commit must be honest and true. And you do not interrupt me in between. What long I am giving you information you about this case. Yeah. I will give you a fair okay, enough chance okay. to speak and ask as many questions you have. But after I am done, is that okay with you? Well, if I have a question, I'm going to ask it. Go 
I don't have one right now. All right. I will give you a fair enough chance to speak and ask as many questions you have. But after I am done, all right? Go ahead. Don't worry about tell it. Tell me what you want to tell me, will you? Give chance to speak. Well, let me complete my part. Complete your home. part. Go, go, right. go, go. I got to go down to the park. I got to meet my friend down there. Hurry up. Hey, this is the way you are talking with the officer? I'm sorry. What do you mean with that? I'm sorry, but I have to, I'm supposed to meet my friend down the park. Go ahead. Yeah, so what can I do? Just tell me what you want to tell me, please. The investigation started under your name, under your social security number, when we recovered an abandoned car in the south border of Texas. The making mad model of that car was Toyota Corolla, 2018 model, black in color. Do you know any of this car, a black Toyota Corolla, 2018 model? I've got a Corolla. I've got a Toyota. You have a Corolla, black in color, right? No, mine's white. <laughs> All right. So... That car was idle on the street, and the local authorities have reported about that car to be suspicious because they found some blood and drug residues inside the car. To the investigation, they found this car was rented under your name, and there are two addresses linked with the title of the vehicle. So the first address is Paracos, New York, 13212. And the second What's address... What's that got to do with me? 16th Avenue, El Paso, Texas. Do you know any of this address? No. What's that got to do with me? I'm in New York here. Do you know any of this address? No. How would I know those addresses? All right. So the second address is already a suspicious address because it was read by the U.S. Marshals and FBI. But unfortunately, there was no one inside the residence. I wonder where they were. We recovered a consignment of 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an illegal drug, as well as we found okay. some documentation from financial institutions what? What like Bank of America. What does this have to do with me? What do you say? What does this have to do with me? Because your social security number has been found suspicious. Every every fraudulent activity is going on under your name, under your social security number. So do you understand what is the meaning of that? No, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I don't know even know what you're talking about. Yeah, I am not believing on your words, all right? We are not believing on your words, all right? What's that mean? So listen to me. What are you saying? What are you saying? I don't know what that means. You're not believing on my word. I don't know what that means. Yeah, we are not believing on your word, sir. I still All don't right? know. No matter how many times you say it. No matter how many times. 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 No how many times you say it, I still don't know what you're saying. I, I don't know. All right. So. As I told you, we found 22 pounds of cocaine, which is an illegal drug. Yeah, I know. As well as we found some documentations from financial institutions like Bank of America, U.S. Yeah. Bank, Chase Bank, TD Bank, Wells Fargo, and a couple of credit unions. That was totally under your name, under your social security number. So the question arises. When we are investigating with those financial institutions and when we found thousands of dollars has been wired from those accounts locally and internationally, which totally seems suspicious to us because to all those transactions were made to narco-profiting countries I, I like Mexico and Colombia. I don't know. So the first recipient in Colombia was uh, in the what? name of Julian Ramirez and the second recipient in Mexico was in the name of... John Rubio Gonzalez. So do you know any of these persons? What was the second one? It's John Rubio Gonzalez. I knew a Speedy Gonzalez. I don't know that guy. No, I don't know that one. I used to All work, right. I used right to work with the Speedy Gonzalez right. when I was down in Texas. And he used to race all over the place. But uh, I, I, I don't know this other guy you're talking about. All right, so... Right now, your name is under federal investigation in the state of Texas, with three criminal charges placed against your name. Against me? For which what? Is, I'm sorry, which is drug trafficking, money laundering, and theft of identity. 
My, as we have very short time, against and what me, you have you said, done was totally against the law of U.S. Treasury, and we have to sign the arrest me? warrant against your name, why is and it we have to my suspend name? your social why security me? number right why away me? from your name, why me? because according why to me? Section why me? 32, why me? Section C of 1958, Drug Enforcement why Agency me? Act, you are going to be taken for non-payable jail me? term of nine years. And the penalty is going to be seventy to eighty thousand dollars. I don't even know what the hell you're talking now, about. particularly for this reason. Are you gonna let me talk or not? Officers, no. Listen to me. First of all, let me complete my part. All right. I gotta talk here. Then I, I don't will know. Give you a fair I don't chance. have a clue what you're speaking about, now, sir. Yeah. Now, now particularly for this reason, two of our officers were having watch on you since last couple of days, oh, and your phone calls they have were a blue also car? being tapped by them. Did they have but a that blue didn't car? sound suspicious in saw. your daily routine. Okay. From that investigation, we came to know that okay. you might be or you might not be involved might in this be or case. Might not. Yeah, you're right. can also be a matter of identity theft. That's what it is. So identity I have a quick question for you. Somebody stole my identity. Have you ever lost your phone or your wallet or no, any personal never. identity in no, a few never. years? I lost my wallet once at a gentleman's club, but I got it back. Of course, all the money was gone. All right, and do you suspect someone who can do this kind of activities under your name, like your family members, any friends, colleagues, I got a neighbors, any co-workers, I got a neighbor. maybe your bank worker, anyone nearby you, you know do you suspect you someone? <sighs> do you suspect someone? Yeah. Yeah, may I know what was the name of the person you suspect? Polk Salad Annie. Annie, and who is Annie? A gator ate her granny, and she hasn't been right since. And if she gets a hold of something like that, she would use it. All right. And her, so and her it mother is a high was on If someone has an She's access to your personal woman. information, is that correct? Pardon me, I didn't hear you. Yeah, I think so. There is a high possibility. Someone has an access to your personal information, is that correct? Yeah. Folks have an Annie, maybe. All right, so believing on your words, what we do now, we have to block your social right now, right away from your name, and we have to issue a new social security number for you. So whatever link with your old social security number, it will be linked with your new one. So you receive all the benefits from the government so that we can catch the real suspect and as well as no. you can save yourself from this kind of fraudulent activities Don't in the future. Man. And why we block Brothers. your social... We're, Let uh, me tell you the reason they, why they, we block your social security uh, number. I don't get to talk at this at all. Of time, I, I don't sir, to we are not sure that apart talk. from taxes, okay, okay, you just which other going. states, your information just still being misused. Do you getting my point? I don't have no. I have a clue what your point even is. You're talking so fast. I don't even know what you're talking about. All right. Let let, let me repeat myself. All no, right. Please don't. So. Believing on your words, all right? You just told me that you are innocent person. It's not you. No, it's I think someone it's else is Annie. using your social security number. Is that or correct? Or her brothers, they were stealing watermelons out of the back of a pickup truck. I, I don't know. It could have been one of her brothers. Even. And her you have a was pickup on a chain truck. Game. You have a pickup truck? She was a mean, vicious woman. Oh, the m woman. All right, no problem. Yeah. So. Believing okay. on your words, what we do now, no. we have to block your social security number, all right? And we have to issue a new no, social security right. number I, for I you. So whatever That's link what with I your get. old I, social security number, it will be linked with your uh, new one. Are you listening so you to me at all? all the I get social from the security. Government so that I we can get. catch the real suspect and as well as you can save I, yourself I from get, this kind of fraudulent activities but I, but I, in but future. But I, but I, I get social right? security. Yeah, but we just issue a new social security number for you. What about so whatever my, link with your old social security number, it will be linked security. with I'm your retired. new one. And you receive all the benefits. Oh, boy. You receive your social security I, check. I don't know. All right? You don't worry about anything. I don't worry about it. That's what I live at. What do you mean don't worry about it? Tomorrow, two government officers coming at your doorstep. They will be providing you all the documentations in writing, all right? And they will be providing you a new social security number. Okay. But before that, 
Here I see there are 22 bank accounts and 13 credit cards under your name, no. your social security I've got number. Every bank account. So do you holding 22 bank well, accounts no. and 13 credit no. cards under your no. name, under your social? No, 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 no. So you don't have any bank account under your name, is that correct? I got one. All right. And why are you shouting? Because you're making me angry talking all this stuff about nine years in jail and all that stuff. I'm 71 years of age. I can't go to don't jail. Don't shout on me, all right? You, do well, you, you know don't, that? You're shouting at me. Don't shout on me. This is the way you are talking with the officer. Yeah, that's right. Because, this is the way? Because you're yelling at me. So let me pull out your assets verification okay, form. Okay, fill it up. In order to differentiate which is your bank account and which is yeah, okay. bogus. Right. So we freeze out all the bogus account under your name, under your social. I just ask you some couple of questions. I will not ask you any kind of personal information like your bank account number, routing number, debit card or credit card number. I will not. I just ask you some basic question in order to record your statement. So whatever you speak must be honest and true. Am I clear? Yeah. All right. So my first question is... Put that duck outside. Put that duck you outside. You have a new name. What'd you say? How many addresses do you have under your name? I got one. How many would I need? All right. So I believe you live in 114. Huh? I believe you live in 114 in New York. Yeah. All right. And do you have any car under your name? Do you drive a car? Yeah. I told you I got a white Toyota Corolla. But you were looking for a All black right. one. All right. And how many financial institutes are you banking with? How many respective bank accounts you have under I your have name? One bank, your I deal, one bank I deal with. One bank. All right. May I know what was the bank of, of the bank? Are you, the what? I will record your statement. Yeah. May I know what was the name of the bank are you banking with? So I will bank. record your statement. Titty Bank. And you're holding a checking account or a saving account, or you're holding a both account both in this account. bank? I got both there. Why do you All right, and apart this? from this, do you hold any other bank account under your name? No. All right, and do you have any 401k, any IRA, any money market investments, any retirement account, any no, mortgage no, no, account no, under your no, name? No, no, I haven't got any of that shit. I'm sorry? No, I haven't got any of that. Oh, all right. So let me repeat myself. Just listen to me carefully, all right? Well, you got repeat, you're just banking bro. with the one bank. It's the city bank, and you're holding one checking and one saving. That's Is that right. correct? That's it. You got it. All right. All right. And can you now, tell me what was the approximate legal amount you have in your checking or in your saving? Just the approximate figure, not the exit amount, just the rough amount, just the maybe for recording purpose. What about your checking? Checking. Just that up amount. Check, Just that up figure. Okay, seven hundred in my checking. And what about the saving? Two thousand. Just the approximate figure. Two thousand in my checking about. In your checking, you have seven hundred. And what about your saving? Two thousand, I said. All right. And do you have any credit cards under your name? Yeah, I got one. All right. So so let me submit this form to the Federal Trade Commission okay. and to the courthouse, and uh, let me do one thing for house. you. Yeah, let okay. me transfer this call to my senior well, restitution okay. officer, That's a good idea. because yeah. he is the authorized person oh. to cancel your arrest warrant right now. Okay. Make sure okay. he is the authorized person okay. to cancel your all right. arrest Put warrant, all right? So just stay connected. Let me transfer this call to okay. my senior well, restitution transfer. officer, all right? Yeah. I'm sorry? I said, yeah, go ahead, transfer me. Oh, okay. Let's take a neck. Yeah. Your line has been connected to the senior investigation officer, Benjamin Alfred. How I help you? What's your name? I didn't get your name. Benjamin something. Yeah, Benjamin Alfred. Alfred? Yes. Okay. Are you on speakerphone, sir? I would request you to turn off the speakerphone if you are. I got an in here, so I gotta use the speakerphone. I'm 71 years of age, sir. I understand. I understand. So I just want you to turn off the speakerphone. I can't. I can't hear. 
hear if I turn off the speakerphone. I can't hear if I turn off the speakerphone. I can't hear if I turn off the speakerphone. I can't hear you. Okay, okay, I understand. Leave it like this. So, I believe I'm speaking with John, right? Yeah, yeah. John, uh, my name is Benjamin Alfred. I'm working for the Social Security Administration. Right now, we have received uh, two complaints on your name with a child. The other guy told me all that stuff. The other guy told me all that stuff. What did he say? Jesus. The other guy already told me all this stuff, and I told him it's got yeah. nothing to do with me. I don't even know what you guys are talking about. All right. Do you suspect anyone having lost your identity anywhere I in the I told the other years? guy, yes, yeah. yes. Who do you suspect? Pope Salad Annie. Sorry? Pope Salad Annie, a gator aider granny. And she hasn't been the same since. Everybody said it was a shame. And her mama was working on a chain gang. Uh, do you use a cell phone, sir? Do you have a cell phone with you? Yeah. So, we get yeah, I got good, so I can yeah, call I you back. Say, what's yes. your cell phone I have number? a cell phone. Yes, what's your cell phone number? This is it. You're talking on it. Okay, I'm talking to you on your cell phone, right? Not yeah, yeah, phone. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that sounds perfect. The thing is that John, the thing is that John, right now, as we are taking a legal action against your name, okay, so the state courthouse of Texas has already notified I'm us. I'm in New York. I don't care about Texas. I'm okay. in New York. Yeah, I understand, sir. But the thing is that right now, once we go and suspend your social security number, whatever the banks which are linked with your social security number, those bank accounts are going to be closed. And whatever the amount you have in your respective accounts, it will be taken away by the Treasury Department for the term of nine years. So do you want to wait for such a long time for your money, or you want nine your years. money back like tomorrow? I can't. I'm, seven, your social number? I'm 71. I can't wait nine years for my money. What do you have? So if you want your money back by tomorrow... With yeah, I want, I'm going to keep my money in the bank. I'm going to keep my money right where it is. See, you can't keep it right now in your bank, sir, because once we go and put a block on your social, whatever the banks which you were banking with, those bank accounts are going to be closed and shut down on the... Well, I'm going to go take the money out. I'm going to go take the money out then. I'll go take the money out. I'll go take the money out put it under my mattress. You're not, you're not allowed to do that because there's a money laundering charge filed against your name. I will let you know how it's you can money. do it. It's I will let money. you know how it's you my can money. do it. It's my money. It's my money. to me. It's my money. It's your money, but there is a money laundering charge, and this way you're trying to hide your own income, okay? It will be considered as in black money. So black money? I don't want no black money. money. I want green, cash with you. Greenbacks. Greenbacks. Money talks. See, it's not about what you're saying, sir, okay? No. In this way, you're trying to hide your money. The government will think that that's some black money, okay? I, I don't so care what I they think. I don't want you to do in that way. I want you to follow the information, okay? So I'll let you know what you have to do. Are you listening? Yeah, I hear you. Okay. So it's very simple. What you need to do, your money is going to be with you only, not have on cash, okay? I'll explain you how you have to take care of this, okay? Listen to me very carefully. Okay. You have to convert your money into an electronic federal safety gift card for the next 24 hours where the gift... What the hell is that? What did you say, sir? What is that? I never heard of it. Okay, I will explain you. Listen to me completely. Go ahead. You need to come... You need to convert yeah. your money okay. into an electronic federal safety gift card. Safety and gift you card. need to keep it with you. Okay. 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 Till tomorrow. Until yeah. What did you say? I said, okay. I'm listening. I'm trying to hear you here. <laughs> okay. So once you withdraw the money from your bank, you need to convert that money into an electronic federal safety gift card. And you need to keep it with you. <laughs>
So what happens? Once we complete those cards with you, we will register those cards in the uni. And we'll fix an appointment tomorrow with one of the officers from the social security administration office who will be coming down into your doorstep to give you a new social security card. So that time you have to hand over those electronic federal safety cards in that Howie, office. Howie, 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 I was talking to my parrot. Okay, go ahead. You understood what I said? Yeah. What do you understood, sir? What I understood? I got to go get a gift card, a special government gift card. Yes. So once you get the yeah. gift cards, get, get the, yeah, okay. we will register those cards under your name. Under my name, okay. Till tomorrow. Tomorrow? Till to, to tomorrow. Tomorrow I get a new one. those cards with you. Okay, good. Okay. okay. So... All right. So once... You want me to so go now? Okay. We registered those cards. Where do I get we these will, cards? We will fix them. Where do I get the cards? With an officer. Where do I get the cards for the officer tomorrow? Yes. So he will come and check those gift cards and he will give you a... Where do I get them? Check on Where do I get them? The amount. What did you say, sir? Where do I get these cards? That's what I'm asking you. I will... I, I will guide you. I'll guide well, you. Well, guide me. But I got to go to the park and meet my friend Aqualung down there. I've got time for all this stuff. See, if you don't have time for this, what I will do, I'll take it as better directly to the courthouse legally. Why don't you hire an attorney and come to the courthouse and fight me? I don't want to go to the courthouse. Because I'm not you. Yes. Just tell me what I got to do. I'm going to guide you. Where you can get this gift okay. card? Can you and do it a little you faster? It. Uh, do you have a debit card? Yes. The bank? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Can you provide me the zip code where you are right now? One three one one eight. So I'll give you the name of the source. Okay. Where you have to go there and get this gift card. Uh, I see a speed with Tony by you. Yeah, the have speedway one. right down the street. Okay. Okay. So, before you start this process, I want you to listen to me very carefully. You have to follow two protocols with me on this recording line. Protocols? All right? The protocol number one. Yes. Okay. The protocol number, number one. one. Until and unless you receive a new okay. social security number, right. you're not allowed to discuss, talk, and tell anyone about this case. Because in this way, if you're trying to publish your information, well, right away, we I will go tell my and wife where I'm social, going. And there will be a warrant against uh, you. So make okay. sure you keep it confidential and keep it between you and the consent department, no one else. I because gotta tell you know my wife. I gotta tell is. my wife. Okay? So not now. We will give you time for that. Once we complete the procedure, we will give you time for that. Okay? Oh, okay. That sounds good. And the second. Yeah. Step, the second protocol. Yeah. The line which we are talking to you right now. Right now. It has to be open. Open all the time. It okay. has to be open. Okay. Open all the okay. time. Okay. Till the time we will fix an appointment with an officer who will come to give you a new social security card tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. So you have to stay with me on the phone. I'll guide you what you need to do. Well, I have time I to stop. All right. I got to stop down the park and tell Aqualung I'm going to be late to watch the frilly panties because he's waiting for me. You can do that later. First, you have to come. I can't do it later because it's very important. do the important. same thing every day. It's very important for you. If not, you can simply hang the line. I will go and do what I need to according to my Don't account. do it. Okay? Don't, don't do it. Don't I'm do not it. Here to don't do it. I'm not here to convince you, sir. Okay, what have I got to do? Just tell me what I got to do. Will you make it quick? First of all, first of all, get ready. Get into the car. Go in the, the car for what? Once you reach to the speed red store, let me know. I will give you the name of the gift card, which card you need to get, then I'll let you know. Okay? Okay, I got to go get the car. It's in my driveway. Get into your car. I'm going to. Drive to the speed red store. I'm going to go to my car. Drive to the speed store. Yeah, I'm going to drive to the speed store. Okay, okay. 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 Okay.
car won't start. Hello? Benjamin, yes, I'm here. Benjamin, you there? Yes, I'm here. My car won't start. I didn't hear you. What? I believe it's in walking distance. The store. I can't walk that far. I'm 71 years of age. Awesome. Pardon me? Try to start your car. Won't start. Won't start. Are you there? Yes, I'm here. Well, it won't start. Try to stop it, sir. If you don't move, then I won't be able to help you. I don't have much time for this. The horn works, but the car won't start. Do one thing. Uh, go by taxi. Go on? I didn't hear you. Go by taxi, sir. Go by taxi. Go by taxi or Uber. Uber? Fuck your Uber. They're expensive. The, your car is not working. There is no other option for you. Yeah, there's an option, and you scamming bastard. Hey, stupid. You still there? Hey, yes, stupid. Sir. Stupid. Hey, Ben Chod. What did you say? I said, hey, Ben Chod, you scamming bastard. What did you say, sir? I said you're a scamming bastard. What did you say, sir? I said you're a piece of shit. Trying to steal my fucking money, you asshole. Are you gone, stupid? Huh? Hello. Huh? You still there, stupid? Hello? Hello, Benjamin? Benjamin? My car won't start.